Because the thing, the thing, the I, comment just that I wanted to make to get back to you listening to the, the radio, Little Rocket Radio, was that, was that so much of your music sounded amazing on radios. Car radios, transistor radios. It sounded as though you carried that sound in your mind and it could be played big, it could be played huge. You could see it live, it could blow you away, but it also sounded, American Woman is one of the best car radio songs ever. I just have to say that. Well, you know, I would always, uh, when we mix the song, I'd always have it played back on a little radio like that. Okay. Like my daughter now is in a band. She won't mix on big speakers. She mixes in things for iPods, yeah. which is real, sure. totally different than mixing for big full fidelity, you know, three speakers with woofers and tweeters with crossovers and for top and mid and bottom. She mixes for little iPods and she doesn't care about the big speakers. All the kids who are buying her stuff aren't even buying CDs or doing downloads. Yeah. So back then I mixed basically to sound like I would on the, my little radio. Yeah. So I guess that I would like to ask then, you know, I mean, you, you, have, uh, you have kids They've got, they're in the music business, they have chops, they've had hits, and I would like to know sort of, has it changed as much as people might think it has, or is it basically just the same thing? It's about a love of music, it's about chords, it's about reaching people. The dream is the same. Everybody who has a dream and feels they have a talent and that's what they must do, should do it. And whether it's to be a nurse or a doctor or a musician or an athlete or whatever, th that's your dream and you've got a blessing to do that. You're good shooting hoops or shooting hockey pucks or caring for people. Do that and, and do it the best you can because we all need each other. I did a couple of radio shows on jobs, take this job and shove it. And I kept saying during the show, I mean, I need a plumber. I need a doctor. Just like when the, they want to let off steam, they put on my record, they come to a show and I make them feel good. We all are a big family and somebody's got to cook, somebody's got to sew and somebody's got to, you know, go and hunt. Can of thing you know that kind of family environment or work in the fields kind of thing and um but we uh you don't get paid anymore like you used to because of all the free music and it's, so, it's such a simple thing to solve it's amazing other countries have solved it i don't know why they don't do it here um the, the solution is whoever gives you your internet your internet service provider isp all they have to do is look at everything you've downloaded that month and send you a bill and if you just like you leave your lights on and if you don't pay your light bill guess what happens you flip the switch there's no lights mm -hmm. then you pay your light bill they charge you another 50 bucks to hook it up again so if they did that with your computers you haven't paid your bill you owe for proud mary you download a jumping jack flash and p -p poker face whatever you owe three dollars to us that we're going to pay to lady gaga on the stones or you won't pay it no internet service. What? I want to hook up again. Okay, pay your bill and here's a $50 you know, fine for doing it. You're going to keep paying your bill. They do that in China and Japan. They don't do it here. The ISP, was, it's a way to do it. It's like so simple. Yeah. They don't do that. So consequently, most, music, most musicians now make their money uh, playing live, which is what when we got our first record, Shaken All Over, we made our money playing gigs. It was not, when Shaken All Over sold a half a million copies in the States, our check was $400. Yeah. We split and got a hundred each and went crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Times Square, a hundred bucks, you know, yeah, New York yeah, City. Yeah. And I came home from that summer with the Kings and my dad said, well, son, what have you got to show for your summer in the USA? And I said, 40 bucks and a new guitar, isn't that great? And he went, what, you think that's great? And I said, yeah, I'm going back. You know, was like, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you listen to today? Um, because of uh, my radio show, Vinyl Tap, and, and all the, the nice people like these people here who send in ideas for shows, and I was very lucky to stumble upon having a show with a theme every week. It makes me go and find songs that fit in the theme, like girls' names or cart truck driving songs. I just did four last Sunday, Hot and Cold, Stuttering, because You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet was voted the best stuttering song of all time by the American Stuttering Association. <laughs> Wow. And so I did a whole show wow. on stuttering and told people that, you know, uh, if you have a stuttering problem, here's the, here's the uh, website to go to. And all the famous people who stuttered, like Winston Churchill and, you know, like a lot of people like that, great actors. James Earl Jones, mm -hmm. the great big voice of James, you know, they had a stuttering problem. Lloyd Robertson, guys who you think are great broadcasters, great orators, they had problems stuttering and, and stammering. And when you go to school and you overcome that, suddenly they go, oh, you're a great speaker because you, you've trained yourself to speak. Um, so that's the kind of music I listen to, and I, I, and, and I also pull my kids and grandkids, I've got eight kids and 26 grandkids, who listen to every kind of music all over the world. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Swedish heavy metal rock and gothic this from Denmark and something from Australia and all this. So they all play me their music, so I'm very familiar with music, and I love it all. Everybody has the same dream I had as a kid in Winnipeg, and I think that helps to make radio sh Vinyl Tap radio show very 
interesting because you'll never hardly ever hear the same song twice. Yeah. I know some people that listen to it every single, uh, thank you. <laughs> some people listen to it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, because it's on three times. And I got to thank the people for that. I just renewed now for another uh, two years. Nice. And... Uh, I was told I could do it forever. Right. And I probably think I can. Yeah. I'll be the rock and roll Peter Zowski. <laughs> we need one. They've, no, they've called me that a couple of times. And due to all the requests and the, and the success of this book, uh, I'm actually going to take Vinyl Tap live on the road next fall, coast to coast, and be sponsored by CBC, and do a thing like this and tell the stories of all my songs. Laughing, These Eyes, Undone, American Woman, Let It Ride, Taking Care of Business, Ain't Seen It Yet, just kind of like this with my band and tell the stories and have Q&A um, just because people have asked for it and I'm a sucker for it. Ask me to do anything and I'll do it. <laughs> That's what entertainers yeah. are. <laughs> I think we have... We will take one question. <laughs> Randy will uh, play a guy. little bit more, a little more, and then he'll go sign his darn book. <laughs> Randy, uh, we all know that the media just don't get it. Whenever uh, you've won the World Series, uh, they shove a microphone in front of you, and they ask, how does it feel? So finally, Yogi Berra got tired of me. He said, listen, I'll feel a lot better when I look at my bank account tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Randy, I want to ask you this. How did you, what were your thoughts when you had played at all of these places of uh, uh, Carnegie Hall, and then have it have to come back to Winnipeg to use the outhouse? What were your thoughts? <laughs> Humbling. <laughs> The good thing about growing up in the north end of Winnipeg is my grandparents were dirt poor uh, and there's a certain humbleness in that. And when you've got kids and you come home and you've got to take your turn at 2 in the morning changing diapers, you know what I mean, and cleaning the house and cooking and all that kind of stuff, uh, it, is, it is humbling but it's also very grounding. And I also learned something long ago, I don't know who said it, but they were very wise, that when you hit number one, guess what's next? You go down. And so when I hit number one with the guess who, I thought, you know, the, the odds of this happening for once were really, really high against us, but we did it. The odds of it happening twice are nil. So I, I start over from scratch. And if I, if I don't make it, at least I'm doing something different, following my passion and my heart. But five years later, or four or five years later, we were number one album and single again with Not Fragile and Ain't Seen Nothing Yet. And I went, wow. Hard work, perseverance, not taking no as an answer. That's not an answer. That's not an option in my book, no. Somebody says no, I just say, excuse me, would you get out of the way? I'm going, I'm going this way. Please move out of the way. And you just keep going forward. When people say, how are you a success at this? It's the same with being a success at anything you want to be. Do not take no as an answer. Treat every trip and step and speed bump as a learning experience. Get over it and add it to your bank, you know, your bank of knowledge and follow your passion. And like I said, if it's playing guitar or piano or drums or shooting hoops or being a doctor or being a plumber, or whatever, we all need each other, and that's what makes the world go round. So um, I hope that answered your question and, and more. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Backman, would you please play us out? Sure, with what? Up to you. <laughs> okay. This happened, really happened to me. Um, somebody came up to me, and I've closed the last four or five shows with this, in the middle of the screaming encore. <laughs> they said, taking care of business should be a mandatory song for getting Canadian citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> so after we do this whole thing, and it's our last song of the night, and I just finished playing like last Friday with Fred Turner, and we're going back to play the Jets game uh, tomorrow in Winnipeg. The Jets are back. Oh. And we're going to be on TV doing a couple of songs, uh, welcoming the Jets back. Um, but I usually ask the audience to sing along, sing this song, or else get out of Canada. <laughs> You're not a true citizen, so I'm going to sing this, but I want you to sing along with me, okay? I'll do it in a lower key so we can all sing it. They get up in the morning from the alarm clock, born and take the 8.15 into the city. Your turn. 
Yeah. Girls, <laughs> you try to look pretty. And if your train's on time, you can get to work by nine. And start your slaving job to get your pay. If you ever get annoyed, look at me, I'm self-employed. I love to work at nothing all day. And I've been taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. I've been taking care of business. It's all mine. Taking care of business and working overtime. Thank you. Thank you.